every Red Creek Valley buddy. Where's Red Creek? Well, that's where we are. It's the valley that we are doing a big murder investigation in. And we found our first victim. And the goal of this particular scene, it's kind of like a big crime scene. You have to figure out what happened. And it turns out that uh, Paul Prospero, who is my the character that I'm driving here, um, he's got this ability to intuit things from dead people and the environment. Now if I do this, touch and hold, see it starts to open a tear or kind of like a um, like a window into the past of what happened at this crime scene. Uh, but I have to open that window all the way and you do that by just piecing together the evidence around here. So I've already got a rope and severed legs um, but it turns out I missed this last time. So let's inspect the grass. And it is dried, isn't it? Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. And it's a rectangle shape because there was a rail car covering the grass. So you see what happens. You can, and let's also inspect the gas tank. Aha! Uh -huh. Diesel fuel, yeah. That's interesting. So the guy probably got out like right there. So now we've got two more little clues to our scene. Um, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, do you hear that little, that weird um, ting? That means that there's a clue to uncover, just like this. So if I do that, let's hold it. Ah, and that opens a tear or like a window, and it shows us where the rail car was at the time of the crime. And you just kind of have to get your bearings and get an idea of what was around it, around the rail car at the time. So I don't see the gas tank. That's odd. But I do see the rock, and then there's that tree right there. And, huh, but that is really odd. That doesn't look right. Well, anyway, that's where we have to put the rail car, so we should, uh, crank her up and drive it up there. Now, by the way, I was looking around off camera just a little bit, and I missed another clue. It's right there. I never would have found that, and I looked all over the place, and it took me forever to find this thing. So it looks like a, uh, like a depression in the moss. Aha. See, or a divot, yeah. Fresh dirt, and there's a rock somewhere. Yeah, where's the rock? The rock is... Ah, uh, Let's open it up. Okay, so it's next to a stump by some bushes <laughs> along the rail. Okay, I know where it is. I see where it is. Yeah, it's a stump on the right-hand side of the rail road. So where are we going to find that? Or it could be on the left-hand side, actually. Boy, that's not an easy one. Let's find the stump. It could actually be beyond the rock slide. And I did find the way to get to the other side in the last video, if you remember. There's another path that goes up that way. Yeah, I don't see the stump anywhere here. Do you? Oh, there it is. There's the stump. And so there's, ooh, there's the rock. Ooh, it's a rock. How exciting. <laughs> Well, let's take it. Okay, so now we got the rock. So obviously, what we what would we do with the rock? We'd stick it into that divot, whatever that means. It's a really strange puzzle. There. So we fixed the rock into the divot. And now let's drive this up to that gasoline tank. Remember, we've already got the crank shaft in there. Okay. And... We only need to go forward a little bit. And I hear that weird ting again. Oh, we have to turn it. Now we turned it on. Turn off. Oh, maybe I do have to crank it. Oh, yeah, once it's off, you have to crank it on again. Of course. Duh. That was stupid. Come on! Ah, there. Come on, Mary. You can do it. 
Okay, we're about to uncover and unravel crack this little crime scene. Where is that canister? I don't see it. I think we passed it, actually. Well, let's get out. I may have missed it. Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. It's way back there. God dang it. Okay, almost there. Let's go back just a little bit more. Like about to there. I saw it, like right there. It's so, you can only see like the there. Okay, now let's turn it off. <laughs> so it doesn't go anywhere. Now, remember there was that, aha, there, there's our audio clue that we can now open this entire window on this corpse. Here we go, ready? And there is a bug here. Oh, no, it didn't bug out this time, that's good. Yeah, when I open those windows up, sometimes the game bugs out and it freezes. And this corpse splits into little ethereal sperm. Okay, we'll follow the ethereal sperm. I see what it wants us to do. Okay, here's one scene. Whoa. Oh my god, that's Ethan. That's Ethan Carter. Hey, Ethan. And who the hell is this? Well, whoever that was, that's the guy who, who died. And... That's the guy who died, right? Yep, that's definitely him. And what's this up here? Nah, nah, nah. What? Oh, that was Ethan that was going to die on the tracks. How dare they do that to a little boy? Are they on drugs? You don't do that to a kid. What the hell? There must be something really afoot here. Aha! And here's the two more ghosts with a ghostly rail car. And one over here. What do we get? We get the guy with the rock. He's putting it into the rock. Whoa. Well, that's an interesting crime scene, but what does it all mean? Uh, oh, and there's one more over here. Okay. Oh, we have to choose the chronology, and we have to guess the order in which they occurred. Well, it's pretty safe to assume that this is the last one, right? So let's tag. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that was the last one. And this is probably the fifth one, right? This is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that was the fifth one. Now, I would bet that this was the very first thing that happened. So let's tag this as number one. I don't know what he was doing with that stupid rock, but... Okay, and then two. I bet, yeah. And then three. He got run over, and then Ethan escaped, I bet. Four. That's got to be it. Oh, now it says visualize. Okay, let's visualize the crime. Here it is. Several months ago, I think, this happened. Okay, we got that right. Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. Oh. I don't know what they're talking about Travis, yet. tell me where Ethan is now. Oh, well, no, we didn't get it right. Uh, now why didn't we get that right? What the hell? Travis, tell me where Ethan is now. Oh, I see, okay. So, Travis had already tied him to the tracks. I see. Two. Three. And then, and then he ran that guy over. Yeah, I bet that's what happened. And then the guy... Went over this way, and then he died over there. Yeah, let's try it. Come on, this has to be it. I think we can skip it now, right? Yeah, next scene. Listen to me. There it is. We can destroy it. I know how. Mm, what is he talking about? can't destroy Ethan. He can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Freaking creepy, dude. And Perhaps. then... 
Tell me where Ethan is. Now. Uh -huh. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. You need to go home. <gasps> oh. Yep, and then, and then he runs him over. And I think we were right about this one. Of course. Oh, and then Ethan cuts himself loose. That's good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my god. No. Oh. oh, gross. And then... Ethan, run goddammit. Go! Get out of here! And so Ethan runs away, right? Travis, close your eyes. Aha! That's... That was the head trauma. He put him out of his misery. Well, the guy probably deserved it. Whoever. Travis. Okay, now here comes the sperm again. Oh, and they're going to reunite and go into his butt. <laughs> they did go into his butt. <laughs> okay, and now uh, one big father sperm erupts. And does he want me to follow him? Yeah. Well, I can't follow you out there. Okay, but... Oh, no. Bonk. He landed like a meteor. Okay, let's go down there, see what is going on down here. There's one more piece to this murder mystery. And Grandpa! Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then what? fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus, the sleeper. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. Whoa. Psst. That was the scene. Well, we've Whatever unraveled. Had turned Ethan's family against him. Uh -huh. The grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. I see. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Mm -hmm. Their hate is less useful. I see. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> that's true for the most part, but that doesn't always work. Okay, so... There's our first scene. That's just one of many scenes in the game. Um, why don't we end here? Because um, it just auto-saved. I know this. Whenever you complete a, a puzzle like that, then you auto-save. And anyway, I missed a very important puzzle back toward the beginning on the other side of the bridge. And we're going to do that in the third episode, okay? So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel. And you'll get all these Vanishing of Ethan Carter videos in your inbox. And I also upload Skyrim and Fallout 3, Watch Dogs, Witcher 2. Um, I'll be doing uh, some raw videos maybe of uh, Shadow of Mordor and alien isolation <laughs> oh my god and then also the evil within oh my god all right follow me on twitter and you'll get an alert whenever i upload one of those we'll see you next time in red creek valley thanks for watching